All right, welcome back to Vulcan Deckmasters Week 1, Day 3, with me, Wombat, casting this event. Uh, we're on to the last match of the day between Sho and Ivan. So Sho, formerly of Complexity Gaming, is now with Team Liquid, one of the, I guess, some of the, one of the strongest players around. Um, I think he won the Xfinity Tournament recently, so he's got a first major event to his name. He played in Kingwin Pro League, finished in the top four. One of the better players in the league. I, I thought he might get to the first, but you know, Strife Crow and Life Coach uh, and Colento doing amazing that event as well. Uh, as for his opponent, we've just received some information about him. Yeah. Uh, Kibler letting us know that Ivan, a pro tour winning Magic player, I, I mean, that is not a scene where you just show up and, uh, you know, you maybe could pick up a tournament off of somebody. Like uh, Magic people. Uh, frothing at the mouth crazy in the best of ways and uh, I mean very very serious dedication required for that sort of turnout uh, or that sort of an outcome so definitely going to be somebody to watch here especially with show sitting 0-1 um, had a bit of a rough go of it against Surrender I right. mean, Surrender made it look easy and that's one of those things where I, I you don't see a lot of matches where show uh, anybody makes anything look easy with show on the other side of the board yeah, Surrender is actually 2-0 right now. So he's if he wins against uh, like his next match, which is going to be happening next week, I think, versus um, Life Coach, if I'm not mistaken, he could actually just be at the top of Group B. So that would put him just way ahead of everyone else, and that could be a sick, you know, outcome for him. A newcomer that, that we really haven't like seen. A match of the round, Robin, to watch is Life Coach versus yep. Surrender. I'm really excited to see how that one uh, goes down. But uh, Ivan, I mean, yeah, I mean, like uh, you, you see an unknown name uh, like Ivan. I mean, or an unassuming name. As well, yeah. just slide up onto the boards. You think, okay, it's show, show versus some guy named Ivan. Yeah, uh, but it's actually probably uh, going to slide by. But yeah, definitely going to be scary. It's um, I, I found I found like the info about him, and he won a pro tour apparently in 2015. So this is very recent, it would seem. But yeah, so he's, he's been doing he's amazing. He's killing it. He's killing it now. He didn't take a powder. It didn't take a little break and come to Hearthstone. Yeah, uh, beaten and bruised. He's uh, fresh off of some wins. Um, yeah, man. So lineup wise, both players have brought Druid and Warrior. Both players banned Warrior. So Sho has Druid Hunter and Yvonne has Druid Warlock. Again, very standard classes. You know, no Shaman, no Paladin, nothing out of the blue. Druid, Hunter, Warrior, hun like Warlock. Those are kind of the classes you expect. Um, again, you know, we didn't see a single mage today outside of, I think, yeah. one player who tried to bring it was Strife Crow and it didn't go through because it got banned. So, you know, when you don't know what to expect, you ban the classes. When you know what to expect, you don't mind it as much. You ban whatever's strongest. And Sho and Ivan right now just both banned Warrior. I think uh, that's a good call. Lucky there were no mages today. Noxious has been having some some real. Uh, I don't. You know what? I don't. I really don't mind mages. Like I love mages <laughs> in constructed. It's I yeah. don't like mages in my tavern brawl <laughs> when tavern bananas brawl. are being fed to what, people. What was the final count? I think it was something like uh, like. Oh, it was like of 50. 30? Yeah, it yeah it's like a 50% like representation of mages. You have like nine classes in the game, you go to Tavern Ball, and 50% of the players are all playing Flame Waker Mage. So, I mean, at some point, um, I did get fed up. <laughs> I did get a little fed up with the whole thing. <laughs> you, rage, you rage quit a game, people. <laughs> Because he yeah, couldn't I just stand escaped to listen conceived. to Dana. I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> All right, so um, so I don't get lost. Uh, like the, the lineups that the, the players have brought, typically if show brought mid-range Hunter, usually this is going to be a bit better against the, the lineup that his opponent brought because it will typically be Druid. And f as far as the Warlock goes, it can be, like depending on what it is, like if it's Zoo, mid-range Hunter will typically get blown out. If it's Dragon Warlock, mid-range Hunter can take it, um, maybe more often than not. Against Headlock, they will very often take it. So it's usually like going blind, you would assume that Sho has a better lineup. Showing it down here to pick uh, pick them cards, decide his mulligans. And I got to say, uh, look at that trophy in, in Ivan's background. That's a statement right there. Yeah, he, he actually put it on the webcam. To he, came, he came to He's, win. <laughs> <laughs> this is not accidental. Like he wasn't just out, you know, drinking water from his trophy. That was put there deliberately. That's, 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 <laughs> treats it as a goblet. As you do. Uh, uh, it is handlock, right? So Ivan is going to have a really tough time beating that uh, mid-range hunter. This is a very difficult matchup for him. Frequently, you don't want to be in the handlock position here. Although it does work against Druid, so it could even out. Yes, sir. Mortal Coil going to come on down for Ivan, and uh, you know, got some, uh, got some. Early game statements to make. Hellfire going to come out as well. So Ivan uh, sitting on a pretty nice hand here. Show going to grab Abusive Sergeant and send out Animal Companion. He's going to get Huffer. <laughs> 
<laughs> you mean, I think that this should be called just uh, Huffer, like Call Huffer. We should rename that card. <laughs> we should absolutely. Re I, when, when's the last time? Okay, no, we did see a Misha today. That's right. Yes. Yeah. I, no, I, I lied. I, there was a Leoc earlier, too. Okay, we've okay. Seen, so we've seen, we've seen like run. five Huffers to one Leoc and a Misha. We've seen That's the good. full run. The RNG, man, it's, it, it favors pigs three to one. That's just standard. That's All standard. right. Big question oh, here. Do you coin out the Drake and basically not play the Giant next turn? Or do you just play the Watcher and play the Giant next turn? Because, I mean, Drake is weak to obviously Iron Beak Owl plus Quick Shot, let's say, um, or something along those lines. But it, yeah, you have to get something on the board very fast, especially with such an unfavored matchup. He's going to go for the Drake. I mean, I mean it's, it's definitely a risk here because you could end up, I mean, just trading that over for nothing. He's going to get the Creeper, so Sho's going to have to sit and look at it. Um, a trade into it on the best of days. Uh, I, I don't know if I want to. I you know, trip. like it's you want to force the the handlock to have the answers. More often than not, you can force him to have them. So often, no oh, man. BGH so dead here in this matchup. Dead card for Ivan. It's nothing to work with. But he's uh, you know he's got plenty of health sitting there. He needs something that's going to make Show react, and that's definitely not going to be it. So Ivan going to have to sit here and think about it for a second. Mm. There's an argument to be made for playing Hellfire and lowering your own health to kill whatever pops out of the Shredder, but then you have to taunt up as soon as, as you can. Absolutely. Like, alternatively, Show, you can play Defender here, but, yeah. I mean, it's... Show really starting to get a nice, uh, nice value board going in his hand. Obviously not out on the board yet, but he's got his bow. The Hounds, and he's got a Creeper, Abusive Sergeant, so plenty of stuff sitting around. I've been thinking along your lines there, and hovers over for just a second. He's just going to trade straight into it. He's going to get a, a Gilblin. Gil, Gilblin? I could never say it right. Gilblin, Gilblin Stalker, yeah. Like, now the question was, like, do I Hellfire, do I Shadow Flame? Because of the fact that the Drake's on four, I guess you could try to get a bit more value out of it, which is obviously what he ends up going for. Back down to baseline. Do you With even kill this thing, or do you let it live? Like, does it matter? Yeah, I mean, it's not terribly scary at the moment. You've got uh, you've got your warlock down to fifteen. You're sitting at twenty-seven. Four is not the scariest thing in the world right now. He's got his mad scientist. Gonna throw the bow on and just go and full face and hero power, or kill the Drake and mad and scientist. He's gonna do the Drake. All right, well done, it goes. No taunts here for Ivan, not yet. That stops anything building up in the meantime, because show. St I mean, show still with plenty of utility in his hand. To, to deal with basically most anything that's going to come out of here. And it's going to be Mountain Giant, looks like. Yep, going to go ahead and drop that bad boy down. Scary numbers will be enough to get Show to react. Should do. The thing is, uh, Show is really not getting any tell at the moment whether or not Ivan has a Molten or not. Because that Mountain was paid for five and Molten would have cost five. So Show doesn't know if going all in on the face is risky or not. That's a it's pretty a interesting frame. situation because he doesn't know whether or not he's about to get... Double molten. Alright, so if he goes for the. Is he gonna trade into this? Or just go full phase? Alright, he's just not gonna risk it, try to get the Leper Gnome and Hero Power Kill. Either way, if Heal Bot is played here, there's very few things that'll, that'll stop uh, Ivan from dying. Because if he Heal Bots, if he Heal Bots, he can't taunt up. And that's usually gonna be enough. Ivan all dressed up, nowhere to go. Picked up the ooze, <clears throat> too late. <laughs> A bit too late. So, who's just going to sit there and, you know, look gooey and uh, generally be useless for the moment. But uh, Show, I mean, doesn't have a whole lot uh, that he really needs to do here. Three health left on Ivan. and uh, If, if and Show goes for the... I mean, if Ivan picks up, like, Mortal Coil and finds a heal bot or a Sun Fury Protector, this could really help him out. Defender of this Argus. Is, this is the way to go. Like, Defender of Argus is an emergency plan. You can always do that. Like, if you coil and it doesn't work out, you can always go for Defender, and that's going to be a big roadblock. And then you're going to get one draw um, to find the heal bot. Ivan, still waiting on it. I mean, still looking contemplative, too. Not looking like he's ready to make a decision at all. I wouldn't be, like, at this point. I might just taunt up everything and hope that the opponent lets me, like, doesn't find Quick Shot or Kill Command. That's the way of it. That's all he needs here. Quick shot a nine nine go face, and that's gonna buy him some time. Bo uh -oh. comes out for show. Is that enough? Uh, unleash the hounds. Let's let's look at this. That's not gonna pop anything. Actually, there's a possibility that Ivan takes this next turn. That is a pretty big swing there. Yeah, with fourteen sitting on the well, not fourteen, uh, sixteen sitting on the board. 
It depends <laughs> on the trap the show's got in his deck, right? Yeah, he's just got to he's got to send it pack and hope for the best. I mean, yeah, freeze trap would be a, a happy friend. I think I think explosive would be even better because that way he can't attack into you, right? Oh, yeah. Without dying, because you put him on a clock. There's one. There's really like th there's a lot for show to hope for. But if Ivan doesn't pick up a heal next turn, he dies. So. Gonna be able to I would I would probably sacrifice the hound to deny the mortal coil. I mean, you can't let him get a coil. Off of anything. Ooh. If he gets the coil on the leper, no, he has to die from it. But you have to lose the hound here. Sho probably knows it way too well. Oh my god. If this coil draws a heal bot, Ooh. if this mortal coil draws a heal bot. This could be a big swing for Ivan. He's gonna pop the hound. Is it a heal bot? It's not. Pop some it's giant. a giant. No. Oh, we can play in BGA shit, I guess. <laughs> Why not, right? <laughs> there you go. There's nothing here to do. Well, that's unfortunate for Ivan. Doesn't pick up the heal bot. That was a tiny misplay by Show. Nothing huge, right? Like, those things don't tend to matter very much um, in the long run. But in, like, little moments, sometimes uh, you don't... Like, what if he'd picked up a heal bot? That might have been the game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, that's a, that's a, that was a dangerous situation he was sitting in. Again, the, the draws are just not on Ivan's side there. I mean... They were in any number of ways, but uh, to capitalize on that uh, that little misstep by show, it just didn't quite pay off for him. But I, I don't came think very it's close to turning a, a a finished game around for him. Yeah, it's not like it's not a big deal. And honestly, mid range hunter performing very well, show playing it amazingly well. I'd say until the very end, um, handlock not finding the cards he needed. I mean, molten giant is one of your prime cards very early. Had to hellfire to clear a board against something you don't want to do against a deck that will punish you for taking damage even faster. And hybrid hunter is very yeah. good at punishing handlock, uh, even better than mid range hunter is. Yeah, I mean, could have gotten some lucky draws, saved a couple of health here and there, but uh, yeah. didn't work out for him. So Show's got a Druid left versus Ivan's Warlock and Druid. So one of the matches is likely to be a 50-50. Druid versus Druid at some point. Uh, we'll get down to that. But Ivan unlikely going to swap his decks. Handlock versus Druid is, again, a bit too good to throw away of a matchup. I don't think you want to get that out of the way. Um, although Midrange Druid did pick up, if I have to be honest with you, now that I look at it, Midrange Druid, since the advent of... Um, you know, the, the whole the fast druid play style with double combo plays, you can yeah. actually win most of the time against Handlock now. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the druid's been feeling points. really, really good lately. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's that double combo that really gives you this opportunity to, if you didn't necessarily have the best, uh, the best time going early on, you missed something, you've got another chance to swing around on it. Yeah, that's uh, right. Unless, I, I unless you're Kibbler. <laughs> yeah. Well, he might get the same draw, right? Wild Growth, Double yeah. Innervate, and yeah. Wild Growth and <laughs> Savage Roar. I'll talk That's about you just, that. Uh, you, that you write that down in your in your dream diary later. I had a nightmare today while I was awake and playing Hearthstone. I yeah, he might actually... I, I want to write an minutes. article on it. Because Kipper <laughs> writes articles about like his experience in the game very often, and that does seem like... Something that would fit right in, like, hey, yeah, I mean, it's, hey it's look one, at this. This is just what, <laughs> what is that? It's one to write for people because I mean, there's that understanding. I mean, you play card games for long enough, you, you, you're going to learn that lesson one way or another. Um, but it's it's a good one, especially for people I think coming into card games. Like sometimes it's just you're it's not going to be your day. Yeah, and I think uh, that was not Kibler's day. Now, yep. um, going back to you know Druid versus Druid, if one of them is playing Ram Druid, they're gonna have a bit of fun because Ram Druid against you know a mid range Druid will typically be in a pretty comfortable position. It's just not a deck that you see often, but it's good to take um, to tournaments. It'll surprise people. Uh, like on ladder, it's usually not consistent enough, but in tournament settings, I think it's usually very viable. Depending yeah, on what you has doing. actually already written. An article. You're kidding about, me. All right, that no, is great. No this joke. Is after absolutely a, amazing. After a sequence of poor draws in the mid game and a questionable turn where I left him with an imp that I could have killed that allowed him to buff it with Defender of Argus, I fell once again to lose two games to zero. Wow, Kibler really quick <laughs> on the article writing. He is, and it is not. It's not short, really. I mean, it's a, it's a nice, thorough coverage. He he puts up his deck lists. I mean, definitely worth a read. I'm sure one of our admins will. Link it in the chat if you guys want to go uh, take a look at it. Uh, well, we got a little bit of downtime here. Show ran off uh, for a second to probably 
take care of some human-related business. He has not fully converted to being a card-playing robot just yet. Head on over to uh, squarespace.com slash deckmasters. You can get a 10% discount. If you're looking to make some websites, it's a great place to go to do it. Get really professional stuff up and running quickly. And uh, big thanks to Vulcan and Well Played for putting this, uh, putting this together. Vulcan for putting it on. Well Played doing a great job with production. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't even know. Like, it's funny enough. Like, the, we run the ad between between the, the matches, but Vulcan's actually uh, an esports betting website, so you can get on there and pretty much bet on whatever game you want to play. There's Counter Strike, League of Legends, Dota Two, and Hearthstone. Um, you can basically bet on which players you think are going to perform the best in any given event, and that's pretty cool. Like, if you understand the meta game and you understand players and you've noticed patterns in people's play styles or um, their consistency, you'll be able to probably you know get away with the uh, with good results. Yeah. So if you like Absolutely. that kind of I stuff, mean, fantasy some, leagues, I mean it's perfect for gaming. Some people have made some big money. I, I want to say uh, I can't find it. I know it was in the notes somewhere. Somebody made uh, like thirty three grand doing. Uh, there was, like, there was a hundred thousand yeah. winner recently. I think. On yeah. the I mean, it's. it's I mean, crazy. I won't be the next, the next hundred thousand winner. But yeah, I'm not that guy. But you know, you know, if, somebody. If you is got the there. insights, you could be. Yeah. <laughs> All right, into the game here is gonna be what probably is mid range druid with shade of Nax, and he's got the wild growth. So show here with the crucial cards, and he's on the coin. He's on the coin against his opponent. Spec bug comes back to bite again. It looks like up top. So. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, we've got a little look there at the mulligans, and he's not going to waste any time throwing stuff out as he coins out the wild growth. And Ivan here thinking to himself, but not showing it on his face. Wow, that was very well played. And then he's kind of like, whatever, I still got a trophy. It's massive. Look at the size of my trophy. He's moved over slightly so that the trophy is better framed. <laughs> <laughs> you know he actually did. Um, Ivan is, did is my favorite. Oh. <laughs> Ivan, whatever you do with your life, I'm following. Come back, oh, please, God. right there. That's what that's uh, that's the subtle. Hey, I still got this trophy show. I don't see your trophy anywhere. Get a tap, yeah. pull himself a dark bomb. You know what? That's a really good combination of cards for him to have. Uh, it allows for a kill on the Druid of the Claw when it does come out. You don't even need to use your Drake's Health or Mountain Giant at that point. And right now, Show doesn't have the BGH that he wants to deal with that Giant next turn. So, just going to shapeshift, send it back, and there's Sled, Be Sled to Gay Belcher. Actually, I like saying uh, like that. there's a Twilight Drake being played here. My guess is Ivan wants to make sure that the Drake comes down before turn six, because turn six is when the uh, Keeper of the Grove and Hero Power together can be you know, played together to kill the Drake. Whereas on this turn, Sho can't do it. Not sitting in the hand just yet for Sho. He's going to pull an Innervate, taking a real long look at that Druid at of the Claw. Boom. Dr. Boom looks good here. I I mean, it's hard to yes. justify playing because you could always get Shadow Flame, right? He attacks with the, the Drake into your Dr. Boom. Dr. Boom lives, and then Shadow Flame just wipes the boys. He's going down your street. I'm going to drop that Dr. Boom. Dr. Gonna drop Boom that gonna come Dr. Out. Boom. Gonna make That's friends. Not like a song. It should be. Somebody make it. I know there's people that do that. They make songs. <laughs> They're called musicians, I'm told. To drop that Dr. Boom. You know what I like, though? There's a few plays that Ivan can make that are really convincing. Like the Mortal Coil combination I lets him put down, like if he wants to get out a giant to contest a Dr. Boom without playing BGH, could be interesting. But it's so, I, I think it's just too much, too much consistency to just play, you know, Coil, draw a card on the Boombot, and then you kill it. <laughs> with the big game hunter. It's a it's a rough call. I mean, yeah, it's like you said, he's he's in a lot. He's in a kind of similar when, situation. When else do you play time. BGH, right? When, when else yeah. do you play BGH against the Druid anyway, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's definitely. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna do a lot of cleanup, and with that shade getting bigger, and really nothing like at shows behest, it will make its appearance. Uh, you know, it's it's definitely something he's gonna have to consider. He's gonna mortal coil it. And After useless boom bot gets Hellfire and is gonna be DH. Uh, those boom bots aren't even half bad. They he still doesn't die to wrath. The thing doesn't die to. I mean, keep of the grove if it were here. Oh wow! Good thing he killed that guy because that would have gone all right very fast. Double savage roar would have been lethal right then and there. <laughs> sure, Ivan. He knows it though. He's got that stuff. The trophy spoke to him. It let him know what he needed to do. He took care of business. You always listen to the trophy. So Shou here forced in a really weird position where he's got to play slowly because it is headlock and you can't rush the plays. 
But at the same time, he's just desperately wanting to find Emperor Thorson to lower the cost of this entire thing in his hand. Angel of Lore top deck into Emperor Thorson would be one of the sickest follow-ups for show. He's got plenty of room to maneuver with the man on the other side of it. So, <clears throat> we'll see what he does here. Got plenty of stuff in the hand. I, I mean, again, it's just kind of waiting for the right time and place to use it. And luckily, I mean, he dodged a huge bullet there. Uh, uh, like the last one away. How much would you like a Dark Bomb on the Druid of Claw here? And then, I mean, uh, you attack with a 4-2, sorry, and then you Hellfire. That way the Shade's taken care of? Or yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. And the Shade's one that you're definitely going to want to start. I mean, you get, he's starting to get to that point. Only one health left on him, obviously, so you can kind of trade anything into him. But the better better value you can get for that, uh, always nice. And Mountain, Mountain and Giant Dark Bomb on the Shade, and then you keep the BGH <sighs> intact, would also be justifiable. I think I could get behind that play. Because the, uh, the your opponent doesn't have a swipe. And he's going to go that way with it. Hey, Shade I like off the board. I like that play. I like that Ivan saw that. You know, I, I didn't really consider it that much. But then when I started getting to the very end of the turn, it started to make uh, a lot more sense. Bit of a spec bug there. As uh, <laughs> it, It's both at once. It's, uh, it's Schrodinger's Druid of the Claw. You know, yeah. it's like it's just stuck in between two forms. Until we observe it, it is uh, both cat form. Well, and I, I'm not observing anything. I mean, it's hidden under the cat form thing. I don't know what you're observing, yeah. but... That's what I'm saying. We haven't observed it, so it's both. Now we've observed it. Oh, wow. Now it's actually a bear. Oh, man. That was that was sneaky. Show with the sneaky plays. Defender of Argus going to come out in a nice time for it as well. I mean, you got the Sludge Belcher hanging out in there. Dark Bomb is Dark Bomb a play. You have to ask yourself the question... I'm feeling like it is, even though it's overpriced. Yeah, Otherwise, I guess, Ancient, yeah. I mean, Ancient Watcher, Defender, perhaps. So there's a lot of plays that he can make. Yeah, well, I mean, well, there's a few. good value on that one. It's certainly going to kind of force Show to hang around for a while when he'd probably rather be making some maneuvers. But uh, Ivan's the king. He's got a trophy. So I'm going to defer to him. And that uh, is that uh, a clothes-drying rack in the background. So a trophy and a clothes-drying rack, an accomplished man. But now he's mind. hiding it. So. I don't, yeah, he's leaned over in front of it to absorb its power as it was transmitting power into the screen. He's running it all the way through. He's running out of time is what he's doing here. And he is going to spin the Dark Bomb at full cost. So, I mean, you got the just the, the psychic connection with Ivan right now. You guys might have been separated at birth there. All right, show finding interesting cars, but you know, this kind of reminds me of, uh, what's his name? Brian Kibler's hand earlier, where... It's not really doing you any good at this stage of the game. Yeah. Again, Headlock very strong against Druid. Um, but, you know, Druid, has, Druid is slightly favored if they get that curve rolling. But Ivan's been getting answers. The Drake wasn't answered by Keeper of the Grove, so that makes it really tough for the Druid player to deal with it. And He's the Giant, no PGH. And, yeah, 8-3 on the board. I mean, it's just not a terribly... Terribly scary looking piloted shredder there. Is Ivan got plenty of tools in hand. I mean, you know, he's got taunt whenever he feels like he needs it at the moment. He's uh Belcher's pretty cool. good against this four three. I mean you could yeah. just draw Belcher with the ooze or the ancient watcher <laughs> to prepare for a taunt. I mean I don't even mind that. Because on turn nine you can always go hail bot into defend of Argus, taunting both, get a four four and a five six. So Ivan I mean he's been uh I just the look on his face, I mean that's calm and collected right there. Show always all over the place in frame. Uh, the show is falling asleep just, is what's happening. He is, that's what it is. <laughs> He's like, wait, what is this? Like, come we... on the rope. That's why you gotta be, you gotta get your nap in right before the game. You know what I mean? Cat naps, very important part of the Hearthstone top level play. Because you can't come in there sleepy. Just gonna go straight naps. 8 to face and then drop Sludge Belter. And ooze. You know, I love that ooze. I, I th you know, he's such a cute little guy. Yeah. And so useful. Gonna pull a swipe. Not a terrible time for it, but... Uh, I mean, yeah, it's you can actually kill a Shredder. You attack into it with the pilot of Shredder, you can swipe that giant, and, you know, you can attack the slime for one, I guess. Yeah. Slime, it's kind yes. Of, it's kind of unfortunate for him, because, like, he really wants to play scenarios here, but he knows that if he does, it's doing nothing at all. It's doing absolutely nothing. So, show, giving it the time, thinking about it. What, yeah, what's he gonna he, do? he I, does I, have to pop that Belcher with the Yeah, sword. I mean, you, you got to get that guy out of the way. You're, you're looking at, you don't want to give that giant another round for free. 
if you can avoid it. Time waits for no one. Show gonna take his time. He's gonna go that direction with it. Gonna swipe it across. And uh, it's unfortunate that he won't be able to remove the ooze because it'll trade into the fairy dragon easily. I was gonna say otherwise that fairy dragon could be what makes the force of nature savage or really really potent, but it's just gonna go bye bye. I'm just shy of it. Fairy dragon. It's an unfortunate, uh, you know. That's but that's a hey, that's what he had. It, uh, it got him out of a you know a more dangerous situation. And now he's just going to have to hope that uh, you know he ends up with some uh, some some good uh, spin it around cards here because Ivan got basically everything waiting in his deck. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's got a heal bot to heal back to full, and everything's just waiting to be life tapped in. Yep. And he's going to pull Jaraxxus. You face. Yeah, never mind. So the, thing, <laughs> the, problem, <laughs> the problem with Jaraxxus is uh, it's really hard to pull off here, right? Because. You, there's no reason for you to. It's usually an auto win versus druid, but unless you really have to, it's it's almost you know unnecessary. Yeah, he's, he's not behind, so you kind of just. Yeah. I mean, it's which, but again, it's another tool in his hand that's going to allow him to do you know if he so needs like, it. That's the key word for handlock: resourceful. Like if I have to give that deck one upside, I think it would have to be resourceful. It's always got something to do. Like it's really hard to blank. All, everything just does something. Ancient of oh. War out for show, and he is going to let Scenarius trot out onto the field. <laughs> I wish I could do hoofbeat sounds, but I can't. <laughs> we need some, like, coconuts to just clack. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be great. Uh, see, that's pretty that solid. My, You're good, that was man. my best. That's, uh, yeah. That's, that I gave really it my good. You know what? You should make the Scenarius hoofstabs impression. This is, <laughs> I'll, gotta, I'll ship it over to Blizzard. I'll be like, put it in, kids. Come on. <laughs> This is what this is what scenario sounds like. Oh man, Shondo's lesson. Something too little too trans out. But I get the feeling that stayed on the screen as well. Yes, it did. <laughs> you gotta excuse one post patch. There's been a little bit of a glitch with the patch. Um, yep. It just keeps. I can't happening. imagine anybody who watches regularly has missed it by this point. But uh, yeah, it's it's luckily it's quick to get out of and back into the game. So. Not a big deal there, but uh, Shell going to give himself some time. Ivan's still sitting on some lovely resources and uh, picks up an Iron Beak Owl uh, for you know his patience and uh, civility with the trophy just pulling the cards right out of the deck for him. This is a bit of a weird spot because despite the resources that he's got access to, Ivan's got you know no play that he really wants to make here, I think. I mean, a lot of them can be very defensive and somewhat passive. Like, you pass back the initiative to the Druid, you know, anti heal bot, defend of Argus. That's play. But a lot of the plays that he can make are very passive. Gets himself another Owl. Yeah, it doesn't really improve the board state. Unless you want to double Owl Treants. Uh, doesn't seem like good value there, but... I like his, uh, his life tab, Molten Giant. The odds you get punished by this are pretty slim, but if Sh oh, Sho's got a crazy decision to make, and he's gonna go for it. I think this is too good to pass. Oh, he put it back down. He he almost snapped decision that Thor Sam. Well, right I was gonna say of like Ancient of Lore could get you the BGH you need, but then that's one more turn of you delaying for what? You know what? Does it really uh, do much for you? Because the double combo is a guaranteed 22 damage, so you could get lethal if your opponent really blanks out. On draws. In the worst case scenario, you're at least getting Ancient of Lore for six. Watcher's gone. Show goes uh, coupons on all of his cards there, and the Mortal Coil comes out for Ivan. So if he's thirsty for cards, he's got a beverage, and uh, I think he's sitting pretty okay. So nine. He's got 12. He's six off lethal. Well, he's got Hellfire, so three off lethal effectively. So, I mean, there's a play here. You can attack into the Emperor with the 2 1 and Hellfire, or attack into the 5 3, then Coil, then use your 5 health from the Molten Giant as a resource to finish off the Emperor. But And it looked like for a second there the Psychic Connection was still strong, but I'm in my back. You know off. what? I really like uh, the Hellfire Illbot. I, just, I think this is usually okay. Let's see what he does. Running down on time here. I have a uh, thoughtful guy, but it's uh, it's been the only win, well like honestly. If if he goes for Hellfire Hillbot, show's gonna be one off lethal, and that's gonna be one of the most frustrating situations. Hellfire, and there it is. And the Hillbot is on twenty three. Show he needs to find the innervate. Nothing but an innervate will get him out of this. 
and, and he, he gets wrath. wrath. Okay, does that help? Could he could he wrath and pick up? So ancient of lore into card draw is my guess. Or Ancient of Lore and then Wrath the Healbot. Then you can attack for one to the face and hope he never taunts up. One off yeah. lethal here for sure. Yeah. One mana off and one damage off. Yeah, Ivan does have a big uh, big old Defender of Argus sitting in there waiting. So, I mean, Show's in a dicey spot here. He's uh, hoping He's for some love. But definitely. again, that psychic connection straight to Ivan. I mean, Please you, you play it. the Healbot with the Hellfire. <laughs> Listen to me, <laughs> I am You sent it right over to Slovakia. He was like, understood. Click. Bam. Oh, Click. wow. Cycle Pulls another wrath. Unfortunately for him, though, that's like one damage off of killing the thing. No one. So well, he has to heal himself and kill the heal bot with the wrath. That is, that is the conclusion I have come to. Done and done. He'll do it because the psychic connection to show is oh, uh, going to be just as strong. And he's going to draw. Last show. Okay, show, show really wants to use the Ancient of Lore as card draw. You know what, he doesn't want to keep that combo for lethal. He realizes, you know, there's no way I'm going to get it off. And I think Ivan might just go for Traxxas at this point. This is the turn. Yeah, he's going to end up with Hellfire. There you go. Ivan, you've sent the message out. Ivan waiting to receive it through the, the trophy the satellite fish in the background. Yeah. yeah. Gotta wait for it to go up to space, bounce back down, and then we're gonna 100% definitely see a Jaraxxus play. It's, it's, uh, I mean, you're batting, you're batting a thousand right now for uh, reading Ivan's, Ivan's way through this, uh, through this hand. I mean, I don't even know if there's any other play. Like, I yeah, don't I see mean, it's, yeah, what are you gonna have? Eight, right? Taunt like, up your owls. That's always, that's Man, that's bounce. crazy. The good thing is you could actually play the owl. It does hoot hoot. Then because you're tired of hearing the sound, you play the second one to silence the first one. So it stops the hoot hooting, but then it starts hoot hooting. So you put them both in the front line, so they go. They both get eaten up first. That's that's way, yeah. Because like, Show is so angry that he had to hear hoot hoot, that he goes he goes just full ham on the owls, forgets he, to actually play. Show picks stuff. up force of nature. Wait, he's gonna taunt it up. He is taunting up the owls. He's, he's doing. He got it. my psychic connection. <laughs> he got the wrong message. Oh, oh hoot. no. <laughs> hoot. hoot. He, he, <laughs> all these hoots. <laughs> he sent, I sh you should have sent your message second, I feel like there. Uh, so, a double ancient allure in hand you know for show. The thing show. With that is that he dies to so many things if he goes for the draw. He has to heal himself up every single time here. The second one, I guess you could use to draw, but like the first one, you absolutely cannot. All right, so there's five on the board. He needs to find seven more from hand. That is a pretty good follow-up. Maybe not what he's looking for, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. Get the worst saying, sitting in the hand as well as a Hellfire, Mortal Coil, Jaraxxus, and it's like a little guy tucked in over there. Anyway. Well, how do you deal with that, 5-5? Five, five? Do you just <laughs> smash your stuff into it? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that, that really... <sighs> You, you it's, gotta, kinda, it's just annoying enough, because you know that if there's a combo, number two, then that might be the decisive factor. Yeah. There's no more taunters. There's like Sun Furies left, I have to assume, in a Belcher. Yeah, there's not there's not a whole left on the other side of it here. Uh, Ivan, yeah, man, it's a rough decision to make. Do you just uh, you just run into it and try to make friends as best you can? What's he gonna throw out as well? Because that'll obviously determine uh, how he's gonna roll forward here. Probably Draxus. Emperor Thorsten is interesting because you can actually reduce the cost of Draxus and spawn an Inferno right afterwards next turn. Whereas if you play Draxus now, you're not gonna be able to do that. So we'll see what he throws down. Uh, obviously, he's got the time here. I mean, he doesn't have to be too terribly worried. Not in real-world time, but as in he's got another Giant team. does come out, is my oh. guess. Well, that Lothab is very safe. That actually allows him to go on the offensive and not care about the combo anymore. Well, that's a good top deck. Yeah, puts a real that's comfy one. Goes exactly straight was looking with the damage. And, uh, Show here having to play the heal game. Yeah, going to keep Savage Roar out of contention. No draws to be seen there. He's got 10 damage on board and the taunt's cleared away. But Ivan again can't kill his opponent yet. And he has to taunt up. Otherwise, as I said, a combo will seal the game. All it takes is a lack of taunt here from Ivan, who whiffs on the draw. Gotta get the Shows Twilight Drake. Still needs to top deck the force of nature, but it is not impossible. Yep, he's gonna tap. 
And we'll see. I mean, yeah, again, it's it's not quite the end of it, but you got 10 showing on board. If you're Ivan, you got to be thinking, you know, how am I pulling that? Obviously, he's got one taken care of with the Lothab. I think uh, Mountain Giant on the board first, then you attack face with everything, then you sacrifice Lothab to Shadow Flame, and that gives you a lethal with the Giant on the following turn. Weak to BGH, I guess maybe you could play the Emperor instead, but very often that's a... Uh, that's a justifiable line of play. You can even play the Drake if you want, but and sacrifice it instead, so you can coil the five four, uh, the five one that stays after the Shadow Flame. Anyway, we'll see what Ivan does. But there's a few lines of play that make sense. It really depends on how fast he wants to dig through that deck. Rope burning over. Ivan taking his time every time, and honestly, I mean, he's 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 managed to to keep himself trundling along here. He's buying himself time to get to a good spot. He has to attack first. Wait. Sacrifice is a giant. Why not sacrifice the Lothab after attacking? I think he might have realized the misplay. Yeah, he made a he made a bit of a face there towards yeah. the end of that turn that certainly suggests uh, he wasn't too happy about that. Gonna get Druid of the Claw. And another taunter here for Show going to delay the inevitable even longer. He's gonna have to taunt to up. And now it's all down to Ivan. Nothing that happens past this point is up to Show. A Sun Fury Fury's Protector. Up, a breath of relief for Ivan here. Finally finding another way to delay the possible second combo. I'm just going to trade in Hellfire. Hellfire Coil. What does he pick up? See what he gets. important. He needs to taunt something. And he's going to taunt Sun the Taunter. Fury. Wow, okay. Oh no, that's GG. I forgot about the Hellfire. Never mind. Oh yeah. <laughs> we're dumb. I didn't see the numbers. We at, uh, the quality the wrong production. Yeah, he was down to see, he was at twelve with an armor, <laughs> and then all right. of a sudden he was at six because he went to face with the day. But he did. He went to face so smooth. Yeah, it just dude, didn't. Like, you didn't even notice. He didn't feel like it was. You know what, uh, Chad? You can spam sap the casters. Uh, yeah. We're going out anyway. I mean, it's all right. You can sap us. I don't care. One we're so bad now. at this, right? As Ivan pulls a game bag. I just, yeah, just, that is great. One. I'm going to blame it on Ivan's cool technique. We were so focused on that he was upset by the damage he gave over <laughs> that we missed that he still put damage to face. And uh, <laughs> So that means it's going to come down to one last matchup, a mirror match druid. Now, you know how face hunter is volatile? When it comes to counter aggro decks, like face hunter versus face hunter is the most volatile matchup. Um, when it comes to the mid-range decks... I'd have to say Druid is the most volatile of mid-range versus mid-range decks because it all boils down to who gets that better curve, right? Who has, between Sho and Ivan, the best curves? The so, best, best luck on the draw as well. Right. <laughs> so it's We've all about like wild growth. Can't throw that out because, man, Kibler just uh, got the worst of it. Yeah. All right, get into the game here. Let's see some wild growth. I see some none, so I suspect card. everything yeah. goes back in. Yeah, full mulligans <laughs> on that one. Yeah. No ramp, no no hand. Start out with you know your your nine cost cards. That's a good way to be. And the retrial is going to be a little bit a little bit more reasonable, right? And you know what, uh, Emperor Thorson as well in this matchup a really strong swing card. When the combo is already sitting in hand, this can be just a decisive card on its own. Ivan not looking at the wild girl from shows got to be feeling pretty okay. But again, you're always worried he's going to drop some kind of innervate shenanigans. The turn afterwards, every single Just time. Drew it to the claw and keep it nice and cozy there. Doesn't get the shade out as fast as possible. Has no interest in that. I I have to say that's a bit unusual. Very often you see players try to get it out faster, just one turn earlier than the opponent, because that allows you to get a good tempo trade a bit later. I'm gonna run a wrath there for show and uh -oh. interview. Oh, first one over to Ivan. Shade of Nax coming. I'm guessing Shade of Nax into Dr. Boom top deck. And then you play it. Yeah, it's, that's guaranteed 100%. No, I mean, it is. That's why he's playing the Shade, right? Instead of playing anything else. Of course. He knows it's it. the way to do it. Pilot curving. Show. Curving. Like a god. I mean, smooth. Real smooth. You could ride up that and just, you know, old, like a 1986 Civic. You could ride up that ramp. You know, if I only knew anything about cars, you know more about Canadian <laughs> beer, and you know more about cars. I think I'm not fit to live in this country. <laughs> you gotta look if you're gonna grow the beard. You gotta learn about all that stuff. There's a there's a contract they were supposed to hand out once a beard gets past a certain point. So he's gonna grab Keeper of the Grove, and Ivan. Uh, he's comfy. He looks comfy. Doesn't he look comfy? Looks comfortable. 
Got the trophy in the background. He's ready to go. Shade uh, sitting. Uh, generally been taking you've got to be considering for, uh, you've got to be considering the i think he's got a really sick turn with keeper of the grove silencing the shredder at the very least that's a play you consider the question is do you innervate out the wrath to get rid of the shade that is i think my biggest question at this point i mean yeah, you've got I mean, to be afraid of the turn five curse from your opponent and whatnot hmm. yeah considering you got eyes on the shade i mean it's always better right well not always better but it, it's generally going to be you know not a terrible idea to, to give that shade of powder, especially when yours is still sitting stealth, you know, like you can, it's, it's going to be a nice little bit of board advantage. We'll see what he does here. Going to draw the claw coin. I like that, but he's got the innervate at the very least. Innervate wrath. Yeah, he does it. The psychic very, connection. Very solid strong. line of play. I think we were looking at keepers, so maybe it's breaking up a little bit, but that's okay. You got close enough. Yeah, I got one one play right. Yeah. <laughs> no, one play out of, out of twelve is good enough for me. And oh god, oh god. Innervate this wrath cycle. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying, I'm saying it's guaranteed, but maybe not. I just really like the Innervate Wrath for two damage and it cycles. It puts your bow and he picks up the best outcome. The best. This has to be the best, right? 100%. It's either him or Pagel uh, for me. But, uh, <laughs> what about Lore Walker Cho? I mean, I, come on. Cho has, like, I mean, <laughs> hands down, the most entertaining games of the past month have been Lore uh, Walker Cho. Yeah. Oh, man. That is not the position you want to be in if you're Ivan. Swipe yep. very often takes care of this board, but now that 4-4 came about. He's going to sit there and uh, do his uh, routine thought on it. He's going to pick up Dr. Boom. Still got his shade, but man, he's going to be hard-pressed to uh, want to roll that across. But who Did wants to sit that? there and look at 8 damage? Did you know that Millhouse back in Alpha was actually a 2-2 two -two for 2 mana? That when it came into play, gave you a copy of Mega Blast, which was a 10 mana spell that dealt 5 damage to all enemies. That is. It was such a crazy card. Fantastic. Yeah. I yeah. I mean, I I love what it is now, but that just uh, I that love. That would have been so amazing. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Mega Blast. That's all I've got to say. Well, Doctor Boom for six. A Belcher drew the claw on eight. That's a double, uh, five drop turn, which is really strong. Harrison Jones comes out, and he's pretty, but uh, uh, useful right now. You know, there's a pretty good board clear here for Ivan. He's going to have to take four phase damage from that mill house, but he can wipe the board if he'd like. Probably not the most elegant way, but at least it gives you something, and then you can start playing your own cards again after that mill house is gone. <laughs> after that mill house is gone. So, uh, Keeper of the Grove going to be getting dropped, and... I must safeguard the left. There you go. Gonna give it straight to, straight to poor Millhouse. He didn't do nothing. But uh, and then he's gonna go ahead and <laughs> hit the hero power, pop him in the face, trade across. What's interesting is if you look at the swipe and the one damage from Wrath, those are amazing tempo plays. It's so easy to weave them in. Like it's much easier to weave them in uh, at that cost. You have to play Doctor Boom to be the first one to do it. That's like rule number one of Doctor Boom. <laughs> you ask the questions, let him answer them. Yeah. Have him give you the information. And I, yeah, he's just looking so pretty, isn't he? The Dr. Boom. Get, get him out there on the field. He wants to dance. Yeah, knows, we know Ivan's got a BGH, beat. but it's not here. Yeah, it's not sitting around. And maybe that's what's giving Show a little bit of pause here. Um, you know, what do you play into it? Do you get something beefy out there? No, you don't. You send Dr. Boom out. Ivan needs that big game hunter. And he doesn't pick it up. This is not a bad card to find, but I think at this point you just want to play counter Dr. Boom. Because if you play Lothab, you still don't prevent the 8 mana Savage War. Doesn't save you. Yep. So, Ivan uh, looking it down again, and he's got that Keeper to trade across if he wants to uh, give some love over to those Bomblies. And he's going to drop Boom first. Trade it into a bomb, and we'll see where it goes. It's going to make friends with his face and not give him any counter bomb fun. That'd be a nice little domino effect. Keeper of the Grove out for show. Good combination play with Wrath and Swipe here. Fairly easy. Hmm. Actually, does he 7 8? Drew to the Claw for 4. Looking at 12. He's actually really close to lethal, but not quite. 
Um, Swipe Wrath take care of pretty much the entire board. I wouldn't be too worried if I were him. And it's leaving him with enough mana to play Belcher or Drew the Claw, depending on how he feels. He swipes it up. Since the minions, they're going to put a little bit of hurt down, but uh, Wrath out and still sitting in a pretty good spot here. Show, I mean, down to six health, that's a rough spot to be in. Going to draw yeah. out. And Belcher is so frustrating here if you Ivan because it's just going to stop whatever you try to do damage wise. There's yeah, really little, minion. if anything. I think Ivan's pretty much going to have to accept yeah, it. Oh, good. never mind. He picks up DBGH. Turn two what late. a timely I draw. He's still not a great spot for him. Pling, pinged down. Well, he's to dead, six I health. think. It doesn't. Yeah. It, like, he's going to play Lothab and hope he can deny a combo, but right now, it shows winning condition is not the combo. It's just a Druid of the Claw that charges face. And that's going to be game for sure. He's, he's going to be taking the match, uh, actually. Like, Druid Mirror match comes down to Dr. Booms. Coming down faster than the opponents. Honestly, the Emperor Thorsten, another card in the matchup that swings matches. And Millhouse Mana Storm, how much of the success of this match should we you know, pin a hundred, on? A hundred percent. Fully Millhouse. I mean, it's a, it's a big get, too. Ivan with a little nod of uh, resigned approval there as Show takes it 2-1. Uh, you know, handles it like a champ, and we know he's a champ because there's a trophy in the background. Yeah, we got to know that. So that's it for the day, guys. This is the fifth match of the day. We had a pretty intense day. We had a bit of a delay sometimes earlier, but, you know, thanks for bearing with that. Uh, things happen when you organize tournaments. Not Sometimes uh, not the best. Now, we're going to be back next week on Monday. We're going to have five more matches. We're going to have this going on for another entire month. The first three weeks are going to be dedicated to pre-playoffs and then we'll be doing the playoffs week we'll have three people from each group we have four groups moving on to the playoffs and they will participate in the uh, basically the finals at that point so until that time you guys take care of yourselves before we go a quick shout out to vulcan for organizing this whole thing if you guys don't know who they are check them out vulcan.com uh, slash hearthstone they, there's a lot of tournaments you can bet on it's a fantasy league thing and Squarespace as well for sponsoring the entire thing squarespace.com slash deckmasters a place for you to build a website very very easily and it's going to look very clean so again check them out they are sponsors and we have to thank them for that so yeah anything else to add sir uh no absolutely not except go follow noxious on twitter and youtube he's got great content i have absolutely none so ignore that uh, my twitter handle is also displayed on the screen uh it was been a been a good time great games today i'm looking forward to coming back on monday and uh getting some work done yeah, glad to, have, glad to have cast with you today. It's, uh, it was actually really amazing. So until Monday, guys, take care of yourselves. And uh, I guess peace out. Peace out.